What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. So, I recently made a video explaining why I believe the young shorties, the young kids in Chicago, are crashing out at the rate that they are. And I spoke about, you know, what I observe seeing, you know, every day in my city of Chicago, um, you know, being on the trains, being outside, you know, walking to the store, all of that. I'm seeing all these kids off drugs, etc. And all these different other things that I spoke about. And one of my subscribers, I believe he's a new subscriber. Or he might not be subscribed. He might just watch the video. Uh, but he commented and said, basically, that most of the black community's problems. He said 99% of the problems that black people, would, black people have would be solved if the fathers were in home with the children. Right? And he like, you know... Fathers need to be in home. The family unit needs to be, we need to focus on the family unit being together. If fathers were in home, a lot of, everything would be different. Everything would be fixed with our community. And so I hear what he's saying. I'm all for the family unit being together and being in one home. That's a beautiful thing. All of that, I'm all for that, right? But I want to say this. Simply having a father in home will not make the changes. You need the right father in home, okay? You need a father who is healed from all the generational trauma he may have experienced. You need a father who is uh, not just present, he's active. You need a father who's not a game-banging father, who is still trying to live off the glory years of his, of his youth when he was ripping and running in the streets, and he's trying to pass down gang lineage to his child. You know what I mean? I, I say that because I've lived, in, of course, I tell you all the time, I'm born and raised in Chicago. I only left Chicago when I went to college and when I went to grad school, right? And so, and I came back to Chicago after I got my master's degree. Um, growing up here, bro, I seen kids who lived in two-parent households who still were crash outs I, because their fathers were not active in their life. Their father would just go to work, come home, go to sleep, was not trying to talk to their son, seeing what was going on in their son's personal life looking at their son, observing him, observing changes in him, all of that. Father just at the house. He go watch the game, go mind his own business, go lay down, go to sleep. And he and the father leave the mother to do all the child rearing. That's it. That's not going to work. You need an active father, a father that's paying attention to you, that's looking at everything that you're doing. You know what I mean? And saying, no, that ain't the right way to go. Uh-uh. I'm seeing my child having experiencing changes. I'm seeing changes in his behavior. We need to nip this shit in the bud. Not just I'm going to go to work. I'm going to come home, go lay down. Don't nobody talk to me. Nobody mess with me unless I want to be messed with. It's fathers that do that. Go, go home, close the door on their family. That shit ain't going to work, okay? Another thing, growing up in Chicago, I seen gang banging ass fathers. Instead of trying to pass down um, um, uh, any type of generational wealth, well, we ain't got generational wealth in the hood, of course. Instead of trying to pass down knowledge to their kids, I seen fathers pass down their game banging ass ways to their seeds. And their fathers in home with them now. You know, instead of your father trying to, you trying to be, learn from your father's mistakes, your father trying to pass down being, being the folks to you, folks, GDs, BDs. You want to be a BD like your daddy. You want to be a GD like your father. And then these fathers are in home now. Y'all gonna think I'm lying, but I didn't see it. You hear me? I didn't see fathers. Matter of fact, we gonna use a rapper. G Herbo talked about his father seeing him come in the house with guns and glocks with beams on all type of shit. And his father really ain't just saying nothing. He, dang, what you got there for? Is that crazy for you outside? Ain't no way. Ain't no way my dad, my dad would have seen me acting different, coming in the house different with a, uh-uh, we ain't doing that. I'm not raising no little game banging ass dude, little boy. We gonna we correcting that. Her her mother and father been together. They've been married for for longer than he been alive, and he still was running in the streets, wilding out. So you need the right father in the house that's gonna discipline uh, your children and stop and uh, stop and look at your baby, recognize observe and observe everything that's going wrong with him. Right. Another thing we need parents that gonna come that's gonna become come healed. Right from generational trauma that a lot of our parents didn't went through and experienced, right? We, a per perfect example, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, a man who definitely is very traumatized and, and got a lot of stuff he got to fix within himself. His mother was uh, unalived at a young age, and I have to say unalived because if I say the K word, I will get demonetized. I have to explain it for all the silly goofies that come on the channel. Why are you saying a word like unalived? That's not mature. I'm trying to make sure my video don't get demonetized. But anyway... 50 watched his mother, 
you know, he, I don't know if you literally watched it, but he saw his mother lose her life, right? Raised by his grandparents. He got shot all those times, all of that, right? And so he's a very closed off. He's not an empathetic person at all. He fall out with everybody that he got relationships with, except people that's going to kiss his ass and kiss the ring. You know what I mean? Even when he got into it with his, with his baby mama, he led to that. He let that lead to him getting into it with his son. And then he let Yayo and Uncle Murdo Lake make jokes and laugh at his own seed. I'll be damned. I'm a father of two children. I got a 13-year-old daughter in that room, a, a three-year-old son in that room. It's no way, even if I had problems with my baby, I'm going to get my homies the green light to get down on my seed. You out of your goddamn mind, right? But see, that type of stuff. You And, and then 50, he's a real non-empathetic person sociopathic he's a sociopathic person they try they pass those traits on to their seed and now your seed coming outside on the same block as my seed and being aggressive and trying to hit my baby in the head and then i gotta get down on you because i'm not gonna let nobody encroach on my baby right so you got fathers in the house teaching their kids the wrong ways and passing it down to their seeds you know what i mean because they all messed up they all gone in the head right Another example, my homie, my man, my right-hand man, one of my homeboys is like my brother, right? He was in home. His father was in home with him. His father made fun of him. When he was in high school, his father made fun of him for not having enough sex with enough girls. He found out his son only had sex with two girls that, uh, at the beginning of the school year. That's it? That's all you didn't have sex with? That's all you didn't slept with? That's it? That's it? Right? And drove my homie to be hypersexual to the point all my homie would think about was having sex with the next girl. It stopped him from being productive in parts of his life. He couldn't focus on certain stuff he posed to focus on in school. All he think about is, I gotta hit this next chick, or my daddy gonna think less of me. I gotta hit this next, I gotta hit this other girl so I can brag about this to my father. So he would admire me, because kids live for their father's approval. You see what I'm going with this? You feel me? These are all men I'm naming who kids, who parents, be, they, 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 their fathers who are in house with their children, and and they can still lead to their children being all type of damaged and effed up. You know what I mean. So you need the right fathers in the house, not just a father. You know what I mean. So I'm gonna say this, man. And my father wasn't even at home with me, but I was over my dad's house all the time. I would spend nights and be over there with him for sometimes weeks at a time. I didn't have a game banging father, so I didn't want to be GD and BD because my daddy went that. I had a hardworking father who went to go to work and provide for his kids and family. So I wanted to do that when I got older, right? I had a father who loved me. My father was James Evans. He wasn't a, he was a disciplinarian, wasn't playing with me. So I was, I would, you know, I was afraid to play with him like that. But he told us he loved all of us, right? I had a father who would apologize when he was wrong. So it allowed me to do that with my with my children, right? To allow myself to, hey, let me talk to my babies. You know what I'm saying? Let me, I got a young daughter. Let me talk to her. Let me let me let me have a conversation with her and see what she was going on in her life and pay attention to my children. You know, because my dad did the same thing with me. You know, so you don't just not just oh if you got a father in the house is gonna solve everything. No, you need the right father, not just a father in the house. You need fathers who are healed from generational trauma, who not former gang members, or if they are, they they completely not trying to get their kids influenced to do the same thing they're doing. You need fathers who are um um aware of not trying to make your babies hot, your, your 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 young boys your sons hypersexual because then they doing stuff that had a life all knocked off course because all they doing is trying to chase cat all their life rather than trying to focus on other things that are important you get what i'm saying so i get what he was saying i'm all for the family unit being together and being in one home but you you need the right fathers not a father that's passing sociopathic ways to his children he has no, your sociopath is a person who has no regard for the feelings of other people he have no regard for right right or wrong this is his act unhinged whenever they get mad that's what curtis 50 cent jackson does can you imagine him making a whole bunch of other babies like that now yo now his kids out here encroaching on your babies now you got a problem with him for how he raising his his son because he, he trying to violate your kids so you see what i'm saying you need the right fathers in home doing the right thing